Hi beauties and girls, we are back with another video. If you are new, I just want to welcome you first of all and all the OGs, thanks so much for coming back over and over. Today's video is a little bit different just because I want to bring this series and introduce it to my channel and see what you guys think about it. I did run it across my girlfriend and she was like, you totally need to do that. And it's because a lot of consumerism is going on right now. Now, I like makeup. Yes, I collect makeup, but then then again, I noticed why am I purchasing this product? Most of the time, it's because I've seen a look. It's a new product that's coming out and the bigger YouTubers are showing the product. And the honest truth is we as consumers cannot purchase everything. So I want to say this year, I am like in the process of like reading some books on how to save money. Yes, because I have decided that the excessive buying is not going to break the bank. I'm going to save. I'm going to invest. And so I had to shift my mindset in a lot of different ways and makeup and buying just in general had to change. This is a series that I'm really doing to help me like go through the process and not be that impulse buyer. I hope that makes sense. So what sparked this was that I was seeing a lot of the things over and over again. And a lot of times makeup like trends are recycled. Okay. Highlighting and strobing is the same thing. But in order to make it make you feel like you need that product, they name it something else. Okay. That's just the honest truth. I've worked in marketing. I've worked in sales. That's really what happens. And sometimes we can get caught up into that. So to stop the impulse and express excessive buying and to budget and save, this is the process. Now I don't do anti hauls. That's just something that I don't do on my channel just because I feel like my brain has a different thought process, which is this one right here. So I wanted to bring something different than an anti haul and anti hauls. Don't get me wrong are hilarious. They are so funny to me just because people are actually thinking out the thought process, but I want to show it. Can I do that and show you a different thought process and how I see if I'm not going to purchase something. It's probably because I already have it. Sometimes when we are looking at an item, we are like, I have to have it. I have to have it. I got to have it. Well, this is supposed to slow down the process, stop the impulse, and really make you think about what you have in your collection already. Appreciate that and see if you can do that. So in today's video, we are calling this series, Can I Do That? Let's get started. And I think I'm just going to do these individually because I'm finding that I have a lot of the same items and I want to give you guys some options that you probably already have in your collection and I don't want to rush this, okay? Because this is not supposed to be impulsive. This is supposed to be slowing down the process, stopping, thinking about, and I'm not saying I'm not going to buy things, but I definitely want to go and say, can I do that? Can I actually see if I have the product? Okay, so that's what I want to do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Urban Decay Heat Palette. Yes, as soon as I'm, I'm a warm tone girl, and I'm going to show you that I'm a warm tone girl. When I saw that palette, I was like, I got to have it, got to have it. And then I thought about it. I was like, wait, I'm supposed to be saving money. So let me see if I have it in my collection. Let me show you guys the first palette that I duped this look from the Urban Decay Heat Wave. Is it called Heat Wave? Heat Palette. Yeah. So the first palette is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. Y'all, these colors are in here now. I'm, I'm talking in particular one, two, three, four, five colors, six colors, seven colors that are in that Heat Wave palette. Now, I'm going off swatches. Of course, I have not bought the product, and that's the whole point. I don't want to buy it. But this peanut butter and jelly, I actually use four of these shades. One, two, three. Yesterday, I used one, two, three, four, and then use this on my brow bone and duped the same look. So if you have this palette, you can dupe some looks from that heat palette. Let me show you the next one. We're still in Too Faced. The Sweet Peach palette has some of the same warm tones. Now, Too Faced is coming out with a warmer palette than the Peach palette which I'm not going to get either because I'm probably going to be able to do those with this or mix some of these palettes together. So the Sweet Peach palette has that same heat, that same warmness. And yeah, 
Yeah. I'll show you two more palettes. The This is the Masquerade palette by Juvia's. Can y'all see where I am going with this? These type of shades. You already have these in your stash. I'm just saying. Next palette. This is probably the one that has probably the most shades and you don't even know it. And that is the Morphe. Uh, that's the Jaclyn Hill palette. <laughs> Wrong palette. That's the Jaclyn Hill old school palette, which probably has some of the same. But the 35O palette. All up in here, honey. Yes. Now, I know. Don't get me wrong. The textures of Urban Decay are their own. But if a lot of times we already have formulations that we already like and we can duplicate. Another thing, check your Makeup Geek shadows. Okay. Anastasia shadows. Your Coastal Scents. You can probably go in. Look. Okay. The only shade that I probably don't have that's in that that's really intense is Flame Plura by Makeup Geek. But these shades, these are Makeup Forever. That's a Makeup Geek that is called Diva. And yeah, Coco Bear, Americano. Those are all shades that are in that Heat Wave palette. Same thing over here. Okay, Anastasia shades. This is Coco Bear. This is Cherry Cola. That's Coco Bear. This is Coco Bear. This is Coco Bear. I have three Coco Bears. That should go let you know that I'm buying the same thing. Cherry Cola, Americano, Mocha, Bada Bing. These are all shades that are in that Heat Wave palette. And the last shade, if you have the Monarch palette or the Kat Von D, I think she has a quad. These shades right here are shades that are in that palette. I just want you to help you with the thought process that you probably already have those. And the reason why, like I said, I am going to show you a picture in this video. You probably saw it in the beginning of this video of a look that I did. And those were using the peanut butter and jelly palette. And oh, don't let's not forget the modern Renaissance palette. Okay, the shades over here. Okay, these shades you can still duplicate that look. You might need to dip into another palette, but let's get real. We have those colors already. And I just want to save some money. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that $54 and put it into my savings. Cha-ching! So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's me, let me know if you want me to do more do, Can I Do That videos because this is something that's passionate to me. And yeah, let's save some money, y'all. Let's save that money. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, ladies.